With the Norman Conquest and a crowned king came the dawning of a new era for England. Nobles ordered the construction of mighty castles to fortify the realm. To rule this land is a birthright, but to control it requires the courage and skill few possess. It is a kingdom beset by enemies. The Scots press at its borders, the Vikings to the north, and the French separated by a mere channel of water. All of the country exists in a state of war, as even the common are called upon for duty. In these times of total war, it rests on the shoulders of those who lead to ensure the kingdom does not fall into ruin. Greetings, my lord. You are overlooking the noble kingdom of England. To expand the kingdom of England, you should first look to conquer the British Isles. You must also contend with the Scots to the north and the French to the south. The nearby rebel town of York will make an ideal first target. My lord. If you move a general into a settlement, he becomes the governor. Generals with high piety, chivalry or dread make better governors. In the absence of a general, your settlement will be automatically managed. Constructing a place of worship in this settlement will continuously convert the population here to your religion and increase the happiness of your citizens. Constructing this building will allow you to train more advanced military units to defend your settlement and expand your empire. Constructing farms will provide more food for your citizens, allowing your city to expand quickly. Constructing stables in this castle will allow you to train cavalry. Constructing this building in this castle will allow you to train archers. Constructing this building will greatly enhance your attack capability by allowing you to produce siege weapons to destroy your enemy's fortifications. This settlement is a city. Your cities are your major source of income from taxation and trade. You will need to ensure that your people stay happy for your city to function at its best. Constructing a place of worship in this settlement will continuously convert the population here to your... Constructing farms will provide more food for your citizens. This construction will increase your city's income and allow you to train more merchants. Constructing this building will greatly enhance your attack. Constructing mines in this settlement will allow you to take advantage of the... Constructing this building here will allow you to recruit naval units, as well as improve your income from trade. This unit of light infantry will be evenly matched with other light infantry, but will be easy pickings for most other units. Constructing this building will allow you to train more advanced military units to defend your settlement and expand your empire.
Orders. Yes. Sire. Your Majesty. You can move your diplomat by right-clicking on any part of the highlighted area. Right-click on a character, army or settlement belonging to a rival sire. faction to start the diplomatic process. What is it you would talk to us about, Signor? Why not? You have a deal. Adieu, Seigneur. Merchants can be service. used to trade resources and make acquisitions. Hold your cursor over a resource to show its value and move your merchant onto it to commence trading. As you command. Opening a new trade lane, my liege. Yes, Your Highness. I cannot preach there, sire. Joining the fleet, sire. Continuing once I have rested. Orders. To spy on other factions, right-click on an army, character or settlement belonging to that faction. Watching from the shadows, sire. This scroll shows you the known details of another faction's settlement, including the governor, buildings, and garrison. Some details might be missing in the case of neutral or enemy settlements, but a skillful spy can be used to uncover any missing information. Daughter of the Crown. Yes. A lady needs her rest, sire.
Your will, sire. Sire. My lord. Orders. Sire. My lord. Orders. Orders. Making trade agreements with other factions is a good place to start. Trade agreements are likely to be accepted and will increase the trade income generated by your settlements and merchants. I suppose we can agree to this proposal of yours? Aye, farewell. You can click on my portrait to dismiss a piece of advice or replay the last piece of advice. The buttons next to my portrait allow you to change the advice settings, zoom to a location on the map and show you how to do something. There are more advice options on the game options scroll. Right-click to right move your fleet to any part of the highlighted area. Move the fleet to a coastal square to disembark the passengers. Right-click on an enemy fleet to engage in naval combat. Moving ashore, sire. God's servant. Your will, sire. To battle it is, then, sire. Maintaining a siege on a settlement will eventually starve out the enemy. However, in this time, the enemy might summon reinforcements. Click the Maintain Siege button to continue your siege, or the Assault button when you have siege equipment and are ready to attack. To withdraw from the siege, click the Lift the Siege, the siege button. The goes as planned, sire. At your service. Sire. Yes. Laying in wait for the enemy, sire. 
good a plan in mind for our people, sire. Ships ready! A fine day to sail! Your first mission has arrived. You will receive missions and requests from various people from time to time. Completing missions involves certain benefits, but ignoring them can result in negative consequences. If you want help using a scroll at any time, then click the question mark on the top right of the scroll. Constructing this building here will allow you to recruit naval units, as well as improve your income from trade. Ready, sire. Can't plot that course, sire. Yes, sir. Full sail. Yes, your highness. Use your priest to convert the population of a region. Converting increases public order in your own lands, or can incite a revolt in a rival's region. Priests can also be used against heretics and witches. God speak. The strength of an army is shown on its banner. The more colour on the banner, the more men are present. Any stars next to the army show the command rating of its general. This scroll shows the outcome of the battle and some basic statistics. You can view more detailed results of the battle by clicking the Show Battle Statistics button on the bottom right of the scroll. When you Glorious capture a settlement, you have the sire. option to occupy, sack or exterminate. Occupying a settlement brings it under your rule peacefully, but the people might rebel against you. Sacking allows your troops to loot and pillage, which gives an order and cash bonus, but buildings are damaged and people are killed. Exterminating kills most of the population and reduces the level of the buildings, but brings the population under your control. 
Move swiftly to repel enemy armies from your territory. If left standing in a region, they will automatically inflict damage to the surrounding roads, farms, mines, ports and natural resources. This will in turn affect your settlement's trade income and population growth.